I'm going to try something different today. I'm going to narrate this video about text-to-speech using text-to-speech. There have been several advancements in voice cloning and TTS technology lately, and maybe, just maybe, open-source solutions are now on par with proprietary ones like Eleven Labs, for instance. So what better way to demonstrate the capability of these solutions than to let them speak for themselves? You be the judge and decide for yourself if these text-to-speech models are any good. This first one is Mask GCT. I've made a dedicated video about this one. If you would like to know how to install and run it, please check out that video for more information. I really like this one, but it does have high system requirements. I'm displaying my current foram usage in the bottom right corner, and as you can see, it's using a whopping 15 gigabytes. If your system can support it, I think it's worth it, though. It can take anywhere from 15 to 45 seconds to generate text, and on CPU only mode it can take up to 5 minutes, so while it is good quality, it is definitely not a substitute for real-time TTS solutions. The Amphion project, which includes Mask GCT, also features speech-to-speech, text-to-audio, and other things such as text-to-music, so definitely go check it out. They have a lot of exciting things currently in development. Next we have OutTTS. It's definitely in early development. It's quite buggy and basically unusable. I can't even get it to generate something longer than two seconds. It claims to have a voice cloning mode, but I can't get it to work. Behold. That's right, it doesn't work at all. I'll keep an eye on this, but for now, don't bother. It's more trouble than it's worth. Next up we have F5TTS. I couldn't get this one to work locally, so I'm showing you the online Hugging Face demo. This particular one is from Mr. Fake Name, but there are several other repositories to choose from. It's similar to Mask GCT, but my understanding is that it's faster and uses less system requirements. That is, if you can get it to work at all. If my measurements can be believed, it takes about 6 gigabytes to load the model. That's 10 gigabytes less than Mask GCT. But then again, I get errors when running inference. So unfortunately, I don't know how much it really uses. There's also E2 TTS, which is a different model. This demo is a combo of both a 5 and E2. The E2 model seems to be a bit more erratic and robotic sounding. So my money is on F5. Overall, I'd say this is worth trying. Just because I can't get it to work locally doesn't mean you can't. I'm a bit handicapped with having an AMD card. So if you have NVIDIA, you're probably fine. This demo is by Mr. Fake Name on Hugging Face, but again, there are other alternatives. If you search for E2F5 TTS, you'll find several options. The last one on my list for today is X TTS 2. Again, I couldn't get this to run locally, so this is the Hugging Face demo. In theory, installation is as simple as pip install TTS. But despite my best efforts, I ran into several installation errors. I'm sure that if you're on Windows and NVIDIA, you will have no problems. Woe is me for my Linux AMD setup. As you can see, the voice cloning on this one is a little less accurate than Mask GCT, and perhaps less accurate than F5 as well. I'm afraid I can't personally verify how much VRAM XTTS2 uses, but a cursory search suggests about 14 gigabytes. Now, if this is true, it would be on par with Mask GCT in terms of system requirements. That's a little disappointing because I don't know about you, but I don't think this sounds like Eric Idle at all. And I'm not here just to get some generic text to speech voice. I'm looking for accurate voice cloning. However, it is possible to train a voice for more accurate results, so I wouldn't completely discount XTTS2. And that's going to do it for today. There are a few other TTS solutions out there, but I believe I covered the most popular ones at least. Personally, I'm going to stick with Mask GCT for now, but if you have less than 8 gigabytes of VRAM, I suggest using F5 instead. In any case, I hope you found this video instructive. The world of text-to-speech is changing rapidly, and perhaps within a few months, there will be some other challenger that will capture everyone's attention. You never know. But anyway, thank you for watching, and have a nice day.